Shanghai, China, August 25th, Ani, in a bid to counter India's military might in the region, China has launched the first of four, most advanced, warships it is building for close ally Pakistan. A launch ceremony for the Type 054A P frigate was conducted by the Chinese state-owned Hudong Zonghua shipyard in Shanghai on Sunday, Voice of America reported quoting the Pakistan Navy. China's help to launch the Type 054 class frigate for Pakistan is a clear indication that both countries are strengthening their military might to counter India. In a statement, the Pakistan Navy said the vessels are state-of-the-art frigates equipped with modern surface, subsurface and anti-air weapons and sensors. These ships will significantly contribute to maintaining peace and security in our area of responsibility, it added. However, the statement did not disclose the cost of the military vessels, but the estimates are reported to be over 350 million United States dollars each. China is expected to deliver all the four warships to Pakistan by 2021 with the Chinese media saying it could double the combat power of the Pakistan Navy fleet, according to Voice of America. Once constructed, the ships will be one of the largest and technologically advanced surface platforms of the Pakistan Navy fleet, boosting its capability to respond to future challenges, the Navy stated. The development comes at a time when China has been locked in a standoff with India for the past few months and relations between Pakistan and India continue to be strained after New Delhi's decision to abrogate Article 370 from Jammu and Kashmir last year, which granted special status to the erstwhile state. However, the Russian aircraft remains in international airspace and at no time entered United States or Canadian sovereign airspace. Norad wrote in a press release that also suggested an uptick in such activity. Our northern approaches have had an increase in foreign military activity as our competitors continue to expand their military presence and probe our defenses. Said Norad's commander, Air Force General Glenn Van Herc. This year, we've conducted more than a dozen intercepts, the most in recent years he added. The importance of our continued efforts to project air defense operations in and through the North has never been more apparent. The Alaskan and Russian mainlands are only roughly 55 miles apart, and the two share a chain of islands known as the Aleutians, so such incidents are not unprecedented. But the U.S. defenses were alerted at sea on Thursday when NORAD in the U.S. Northern Command, NORTHCOM, which Van Herc also leads, spotted a Russian submarine that surfaced near Alaska. We closely track vessels of interest, including foreign military naval vessels, in our area of responsibility, North Kim wrote on Twitter. The current Russian maritime activity is taking place in international waters well outside the U.S. territorial sea it added. We have not received any requests for assistance from the Russian Navy or other mariners in the area. One senior Pentagon official speaking to Newsweek on the condition of anonymity found the event unusual and potentially carrying a message. A military submarine's purpose is to operate undetected against adversary forces, the official said. To surface in a highly populated fishing zone is either an indication of an emergency or to strategically broadcast its presence. It is highly unlikely that the Russians would risk detection unless that was their intent, the official added. The Russian Defense Ministry earlier announced that its navy was actively training in the Bering Sea between Russia and the United States as part of the Ocean Shield 2020 exercises. While the U.S. side did not specify which kind of submarine was observed on Thursday, Antenor Oi-class nuclear-powered cruise missile submarine OMS took part in the exercises that same day. The senior Pentagon official confirmed to Newsweek that the submarine spotted was most likely an Oscar I-class, the NATO designation for the Antero class project. OMSK launched a Granit anti-ship missile as the accompanying warship Slava-class missile cruiser Veriag fired Vulcan complex anti-ship cruise missile, striking targets about 200 miles and 280 miles away, respectively.